एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम विपुल गुप्ता आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड एंड एंजॉइंग द एसक्यूएल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो टुडे आई एम बैक विद अनदर इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज अ वेरी ग्रेट प्रॉब्लम इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी द नंबर ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस एंड आल्सो यू कैन रेफर इट टू सॉल्व सिमिलर अदर प्रॉब्लम्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हाट इज द आस्क ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम so i will be reading it for you so basically we need to write an sql query that will identify returning active users by a returning active user we mean that a user should have made two purchases within a time period of 7 days right and in the output we just want the list of user ids who are returning active users so guys let me make it as a point here because we will be referring this while writing our sql query so i will be writing the date difference should be between 0 and 7 for two purchases right so this th these two purchases should be made by a single user and in that scenario he will be he will be called as a returning active user so let's quickly preview the data that we have so the table that we are going to refer here is amazon underscore transactions and we have five data points here id user id item created at and revenue so guys since we have written this that is date difference between two purchases should be between 0 and 7 so obviously we are going to use this created at column and user id because we want to find out the unique user ids so let's write a basic select statement to preview this data select star from Amazon transactions order by user underscore id. Let's execute this. All right. So here you can see that corresponding to one user id, we are getting multiple rows. So now we have five data points here, but we can clearly see that as per the questions asked that is item and revenue are not going to be used here so we simply will be using id user id and created at now uh, the ask here is that we want to find out the difference between two simultaneous purchases right now we want to equate the created at column against the other so in that case what we are going to use we need to use a self join because we want to compare the created at date for all the purchases made by a single user so that is why we need to use a self join so let's write the columns that we are we want to extract a1 comma a1 dot user id now what other columns do we want we want created at column so i i will be writing created at twice for the previous transaction and for the next transaction so a1 dot created underscore at comma a1 dot created at oh sorry a2 dot created at now i will be calling it as d1 and the other as d2 right now i will be using self join here so amazon transactions as a1 join again let me copy this a2 now i want to bring all the created at dates against each other for a particular user id that is why for on condition we'll be equating a1 dot user id equals to a2 dot user underscore id now let's execute this to see what we are getting all right so now in the output section you can see that initially for user id 100 we were getting four records but now we are getting 16 records right because by using self join here we have equated all the records corresponding to the all other records for a particular particular user id so we are getting some records where the same date is being repeated for example this case right now i want to filter out these records so in order to filter that i can put a, an additional condition that is 
a1 dot id is not equal to a2 dot id so basically by using this condition we will be filtering out all those records uh, where same transaction has been equated for these two different tables that is a1 and a2 now let's execute it all right so now the number of rows has been reduced we want to find out that the date difference between two transactions that are happening for a particular user that date difference should be between 0 and 7 so first of all let's calculate this date difference so for that i will be creating another column here so i will be using this date diff function and i will be passing d2 and d1 and i will be calling it as a uh, date underscore diff let's execute this okay i have used alias but i am supposed to use the actual column name a1 a2 dot created at and a1 dot created at let's execute this all right so now in this output we are getting user id d1 the first date d2 as the second date and the date difference now as per the ask that i have mentioned here that is this date difference should be between 0 and 7 right so first of all we want to fill uh, so i will be using it as a ct so let me call it cte1 as Now I will be using this CTE1 to find out the final output. So I want in the out final output table, we want to just print out the user IDs. So guys, for a particular user, there can be n transactions where the date difference is between 0 and 7. So we just wanted the distinct user ID. So I will be using distinct user ID from the table we are going to use here is CTE1. Now we just want those transactions or those users where the date difference is between 0 and 7. So we need to put a where condition where date underscore diff between 0 and 7. And let's order by our result with respect to the user ID as well. Now let's execute this. All right. So now we are getting the desired output. So we are able to write an SQL query to find out the list of user IDs who are returning active users. So all these users have made purchases between a time span of seven days. So guys, now you have seen that how we have solved this problem by implementing three major SQL concepts. The first concept that we have used here is CTE. CTE stands for common table expressions. The second concept here is SQL functions. So we have used a date diff function to find out the difference between two dates. Third is joins. So guys, if you want to understand these concepts in more detail, you can refer my master SQL series. You can find the link in the description below. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. So do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel because I will be posting more content like this on regular basis. So do subscribe so that you do not miss any update.